What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming back to the channel, guys. This is Alex, right here, 411, guys. It's Friday, and it's 90 degrees in Los Angeles, guys. It's super, super hot today, and hopefully, everybody will be on the streets. Hopefully, whoever, when you're watching this video, you're already making money. Uh, guys, I want to talk to you guys regarding that book that... The ex CEO of Uber is popping out everywhere, trying to make more money than he already has, guys. And uh, I want you to guys to read an article that I'm gonna drop under the description, guys. And this article, this story comes from the New York Times, and it breaks down a little bit, a little bit more details regarding what this guy talks in the book what this guy was doing when he was at the CEO and on the article it's really really interesting what they talk about the New York Times broke it down gave us a little bit more juice what to spec on that book whoever is gonna order that book I could tell you that it's gonna be it's going to be interesting. It's going to be good stories there from what this article talks about. Let me tell you one 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 crazy thing that this article talks about. And it talks about that this guy was hiring persons from the FBI, persons from the CIA just to keep an eye on in other companies what they were doing and what products they were coming out with can you imagine that guys he was spending all his money hiring ex-fbi people ex-cia people just to keep in mind of other companies like apple and whoever he you know he wanted it to just to know what they were standing at and what they were doing and what they were coming out with. So, while we were over there in the streets kicking ass, this guy was paying big, big money to all these people. It's really interesting what this article talks about, but I want you guys to go read it in the description and it brings a lot of stuff. It also talks about these shares, these super voting shares. All right, it's very, very crazy what it talks about. So these super voting shares, I guess they had a little bit more, more power from the other regular shares because only certain people can have them. So, for example, only the CEO and whoever he choose to. So he, and this article talks about he had tons and tons of this super voting shares and millions and millions of the regular shares. So you can imagine if he already made millions and millions of regular shares, how much money he made from this super voting shares that I guess it was just for certain people that he picked. Of course, he was the one that made it up. So he was the one that had the more amount of super voting shares. Now, they also talk about that he picked everybody that was sitting next to him. All the CEOs, VIPs, VIP this, VIP that. He picked every single person that it was related to him or it was very friendly to him. So he could he could move these people the way he wanted it to. So every time he would do something stupid, since he picked the persons, since they were very friendly to him, they wouldn't do nothing about it. So that's why the company went all the way down, all the way down, until they kicked them out. But hey, 
But that was the board, right? So the board was made made up of his friends, made up of every single person he picked. There was this article talks about that there was no person in there that it was not related to him. So now he's gonna make so much money out of this book because everybody wants to know exactly what he was doing. Now tell me this. Is he really going to say everything he was doing in there? It talks about that he, he was keeping all, all info to investors. All the info that, you know, regarding P&Ls. p &L, it's a report that a company should be running every end of the month. And it's called p &L, Profit and Losses. So if you are ever in one company or in the management position, that report will break down every single little thing that you spend every month so if it was keeping all this information from investors imagine where we at now so we're we're deep deep in a hole guys so i don't know what's going to happen with uber my opinion it might stay afloat another two, three years. That's the most that I give them. Because if we're so deep in a hole from what this book talks about, or we're so in depth from other people that we don't know because it says that he had private investors too. So imagine that. He had regular investors. He had private investors. So, just think about what he did with the money that the private investors were rolling to him. It, everything was going to his pocket, guys. What do you think? And now that we have another clown as a CEO, because that's all I could call him, guys. I mean, since he stepped in, he hasn't done nothing, okay? So, the only thing that I could call him is a clown. And hopefully, you know, people out there watches this video and they get a little bit of info of, from the drivers, for example, myself, what we think about these people. Come on, guys. Step to the plate. Do something about it. Don't just be part of the circle the recycle circle because this is what I call it a recycle circle because everybody is just going in a circle trying to buy time buy time for this buy time for that but now we got more problems on top of us I didn't see that many comments regarding AB5, guys. I told you guys to drop your comments about what you guys going to do. What's your plan B? Let me know. When you guys finish watching this video, drop a comment. I want to see what you guys think. We're I'm from Los Angeles. So here in Los Angeles, we, we're taking a beat up really good. A really good beat up, guys. You should see the trip that I took this morning. I took this trip from, I would say probably K-Town, Koreatown. I would say probably past Ventura County. 25 miles, guys. 25 miles. Guess how much it was at the end when I saw how much Lyft pay. I'm talking about Lyft, okay? 25 miles guys this trip was paying me $16 now you could think you know myself when I see a trip like that what I think about it should I should I spend an hour an hour and 15 minutes in traffic or should I let it go and just take take whatever I can all right guys so go read the article Lots of stuff in that article. 
Remember, it's Friday. Try to make as much money as you can. Don't forget, only drive in the peak hours. Remember also, I made up a hashtag. Hashtag, no pool rise. Hashtag, no pool rise, guys. That's, that's, if you hashtag all your videos, all your pictures, whatever you guys are doing out there, hashtag it with that, tag your friends with it. Pass the word. They're hitting us with, with their numbers. So all we can do is hitting them up a little bit with, you know, more hurts for them. Pool rise. All right, guys. So you guys take care of yourselves. I see you guys on the next video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Take care of yourselves. I see you in the next video.